Is that digging at all? Or? Yeah. He's actually got a dozer sitting on the trail down oh. there, and we're oh, moving yeah. fence today. Well, the entire project, we estimate, is about 20 miles between uh, Taylor's Falls and Wyoming. Um, and, and there is segments built. Chisago City then has about two miles on the ground. Lindstrom is working on about a mile and a half through Lindstrom as part of their Highway 8 project. And then uh, Center City has accommodations for the trail within Center City. And there's a, a portion running adjacent to Highway 8. We've also purchased some, some properties from other individuals along the way. I, we probably have 40% of the of the land acquisition completed, but uh, you know maybe 25% of the trail on the ground. We've been working on this Swedish immigrant trail now for 10 years. But this section we've worked on for about six months with construction actually taking about two and a half months is surprisingly fast once we got going. Uh, it's turned out just great. We love it and it's a separated trail where the little kids and the families can feel safe being out on the trail. Right. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Swedish Immigrant Trail demonstration project which we did the ribbon cutting ceremony for here today in Schaefer uh, is two miles of trail uh, with Schaefer approximately in the middle. There's about a mile and a quarter right now to the west and then there's um, about three quarters of a mile to the east. So it goes out past Quantum and Eichton's Buffalo Farm and then it goes to the east past Rydeen and, uh, and that's where it terminates for now. But uh, the plan of course is to connect it to Center City uh, in the near future and which would be about another two miles to Center City and then over through Wildwood Campground going to the east and then down into Interstate Park and Taylor's Falls. So at that point it'll connect the Chisago Lakes area with Taylor's Falls and then if you cross the river you can get on Wisconsin's trail system, the Gandy Dancer. This project is really important. It's just a real honor to be here celebrating. It's really about building communities in the 21st century. There's been a core group of uh, volunteers, Jane Wahudka, who originally put an ad in the paper to uh, bring a group of people together primarily for promoting safety, bike safety in Chisago County. And then uh, with uh, assistance from the National Park Service and Holly Larson, uh, we produced a, a brochure with information on, on the benefits of trails for communities. And you know, there's five or six that come to mind right away. There's certainly environmental benefits, um, reducing carbon loading or our carbon footprint. Also, uh, just recreation and then uh, economic benefits. We'd see that for sure uh, on this trail system. The last one that comes to mind is health benefits. Uh, Oberstar and his public forums have recognized that uh, obesity is becoming a problem across the state and, and nation. and. Uh, Promoting these non-motorized trails, people get out you know, when, when they're close to home and, and use them and uh, they get in shape. It's been put into getting this trail so I, I think the, the next phase that the Parks and Trails Foundation Board is going to be working on is, is essential to, to expand this, connect the cities, will, will be coalition building, uh, talking and meeting with different groups from around the county, uh, chamber groups, rotary groups, city councils, township boards and just keeping everyone, the school district board, keeping everyone uh, working together to make this trail a reality.